Hey y'all, so I wanted to show y'all how to um, use the image, Tumblr image, to make other things or any image you really have. If you're not familiar with um, Cricut, you can use it to make other things, stickers, whatever. So if you go into your Cricut, hit upload and upload pattern. And then you browse, in fact, I already have it in here. Then you browse to where you have it saved on your computer. And then you upload it. And once it's uploaded, you can use one of these shapes or any shape, any shape you want to use. And I like to just start out with it as big as possible. And I'm doing it big so you can see as well. So here, you will... Turn this into a print then cut. Up here in operation, you go up there and then hit standard. That makes it a print then cut. Then you go back into that, click that little box there and click color type. And then click pattern. And it will pull up any pattern you, you have uploaded. Plus some that Cricut um, has in here. So then you just go down and find the image. I use this one, the one I put in the group. And it puts it in there fine. I like that. You can also alter the pattern by going down here to edit pattern. And let's see. Let me move over so you can see. Step back. Let me slide the screen. I can slide it over. So Go back into here and hit edit pattern and you can play with that setting and you can move it over if you need to move it over to the left or to the right or up or down you can so when it brought it in it's pretty much nice it looks good like that so if you have the pay version, I, I know one, one, I don't do the pay version. And I know um, I was allowed to get the offset one time and then a few weeks there, it wasn't available. So if um, you don't have this option, then you'll have to do it in another program, put an outline around it in another program. If you do, then you just come up to the top, hit offset. And you can make it as large or as small as you want it. It's, it's taking, it's doing something in these updates. So again, you can make it as large as small if you want it and then hit apply. And then you can leave it black. You can do blue. You could do a color, another color in here. If you want to change that color, then you just go up here. If you don't like any of these then you can click advance and then you can, you know, change it to whatever you like or whatever you're working on so i'll go back to black for now once i'm in black once i have that part then i just click both of these and i can do flat and then i will bring it over to the corner here and then i'm going to size it to whatever size I need for whatever I'm working on. If you're gonna do a little pendant, you could do one and a half, but it's kind of tiny. So maybe two, two inch. Well, I didn't like one and a half. So two inch, a two inch pendant would be fine. And then once you did that, you could make a duplicate. And let's say you're gonna, um, let's unflatten that duplicate and let's say you're going to um put a black uh, not black but gold glitter piece or blue whatever color glitter piece on the back then you want to make go back and make this basic and then hit weld over here that way it's still the same shape as that but what i would do is i would horizontal flip and I will just make it gold. Just I just just doing that for so you'll 
keep in mind what that piece is for, what you're using that for. So now, once you have have this size that you need, you can cut this one off and you can hit um, make it and you can make that one piece. Or if you, let's say you're going to do some for a party, you can do more than one and then um, hit cut and let, let your printer print it and then you cut it out with the Cricut. And then you'll come back and you'll cut this one off. You'll turn this one on and then you'll hit make. And then you can, if you're going to do a pendant, then you just need one. If you're going to do some little earrings, then you'll need two. But you just load your mat up with glitter cardstock and just cut that out. And then you can also take this one and just make a duplicate, cut this off. You can set it up manually like a duplicate, pull it to the side duplicate and like I said I like to um use the recollections eight and a half by eleven sheet of black cardstock you can use any color cardstock and it's even a plus if you have a laser cutter and or you can send them send the um this heart shape off to someone who has a laser cutter and they can cut you laser cut pieces so that'll cut down the steps of you having to glue each individual layer together. You could just stick the sticker right to the laser I mean to the acrylic um, shape and then put the resin over top of that if that's what you choose to do. You could do it that way. There's multiple ways to do this. But if you're going to go to car stop method, then you can do like so and either do them individually so you can set them up how you want, or you could just do like. Um, So I would do, for me, sometimes I do individually, depends on the shape. Because sometimes Cricut, if you let Cricut choose, it will have you wasting a lot of paper. So maybe if I was doing it, I would just do it individually and then attach everything. That way it would, when you hit make on this screen, it would keep everything together. Because if you did not, and let's detach, if you didn't do detach and you hit make, then it's going to move it around to where it wants it. And like I said, sometimes that wastes paper. And sometimes if you're on like an eight and a half by 11 sheet, it's, it puts it out to 12. So you you won't have enough space to cut what you need to cut. So you do it manually or, or you just let Cricut decide. You just hit, hit make. And apply, set your size here, eight and a half by 11. You'll have to keep setting that size. I think you get 12 of these. Oh, you can get two more on there. Anyway, you get the idea. You can um, let them do it or you could do it yourself either way. And then you just um, load your mat with the Black Recollections car stock. Make sure it's 110 pounds and then just cut it out. And that is it. That is how you put the image, any image you want. You can make it into a pattern and put it into any shape you want. any shape make sure you turn it into a print then cut shape first and then you could put make any shape hope this helps okay so I've got all my pieces cut these are the stickers Got them cut. Got the black cardstock cut.
same shape as these. Same exact shape. Now we're just going to put it together. Just choose one. And first we're going to do, I think for this we'll do, I think we'll do, let me see. I think we'll do six. the white. Keep my silicone mat clean. Now this um this particular cardstock that I'm using right now is not recollections brand. I think this one is that Park and Lane. It's a little thin that's why I'm using six. If I would have used the recollections it would have been I could have did four. It says 110 pounds, but I just, it's just flimsy. The parking lane. That's the um, Joann's brand. The Recollections brand or Recollections brand is the Michaels brand. That's the one I like. So I'm just going to put those three together and then I'm going to put these three together. Not on top of those just yet. Well, yes, I will. Since it's a, I'm doing it different, yes, I will. Just get it lined up as best you can. It's handmade, handmade stuff, so, I mean, it's not going to be perfect, but it'll be close to perfect. And just rub any excess glue on the side, rub it in on the sides. are quick you can make all sorts of things any shape you want whatever you want to make that's done then we're gonna take and i use the joya sticker paper in matte because i'm gonna gloss it up i don't i don't like the gloss using glossy 
um, sticker paper for um, like jewelry, keychain, stuff like that. I don't like to use this. The, I'm using this one. The vinyl sticker paper. Joy's. Joy's. It's all right. It's all right for what I'm going to do. But I don't like to use the glossy because sometimes the um, the epoxy looks funny. Let's get this on here. done now for the bag I, I didn't cut um anything but i should have cut in the video i'll show you to cut something but i didn't cut anything so now that's that and i'm going to use this new epoxy that i got Okay, this one is the soft um, epoxy. It kind of has a um, strong smell to it. I usually use the this one, the hard type. It's not, it doesn't have a huge smell to it. But I'm just I'm gonna try this one with this. This is the soft type, so it'll be like a little rubber sticker on top once it's set. silicone brushes. Now, I don't usually, um, when I do jewelry, I don't usually use sticker paper. This is something new that I'm, I'm trying. I usually use um, the Epson presentation paper in matte. 
So using this thicker paper eliminates a step. If I was using, well, I'm gonna try this and see, cause I had, like I said, I hadn't used this paper before. But before I couldn't have just went into putting the epoxy on, I would have had to put my Podge over the top if you use the paper instead of vinyl sticker. You have to Mod Podge it on the top first because the resin will seep through the paper and make wet spots. And this um, soft type uh, resin is a little thicker than, than the hard type. But it's kind of self-leveling. It's leveling itself out. And as you, you can't see it, but here overhead, I have this light here. It'll let me know which you need that so you can see where your um, spots are that you missed that need coating. Just move it around. And I'm about to do it. I'm just holding it up to the light to make sure. Now when um when I cure the top and everything dries good, I'll go back, I'll do the sides as well. Just helps seal it in even further. Protects the piece even more. I'm just popping bubbles. They they should pop under the light, but I just see them, and so I have to get them. Okay, now we're gonna flash cure for thirty. Like I said, this is a new product. I've only did it on that sticker, on a sticker, so I hadn't done it on a um, bigger piece or a jewelry piece. So we're trying it out. If you work with soft type, make sure you work in a well ventilated area, cause this stuff is, really strong I probably wouldn't use the soft type for 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 this um Either you could use this as a pendant, you could use it as a keychain, you can just use it as a little trinket, you know, kids like little trinkets and stuff, or whatever you're going to use it for. I, I probably wouldn't use the soft type for this. And I made it extra big so you could see. I would have, this is 2.5, but I would have made it, um... 1.5 was a little too small for me um, with this pattern. So probably two, two inch. And again, like I said, I did not cut the back piece. But before, when I had three, um, I would have had these three glued, and then I would have taken the image piece and glued and stuck it to those three after they 
um, as I glue them together. Then the other three, let's just say, let's just say this was what I was gonna put on the back of it. If I can get it apart. Let's just say that was gonna go on the back. So I would have glued the image to three, and then I would have glued, let's say I did gold glitter. I would have did the um, gold glitter to three. And then I would have put the epoxy on here and epoxy on here and let that complete. Then I would have glued them together. And I would have did it like that. So, this could lay flat and this could lay flat and you can put the epoxy on it and it would not spill over to the other side. So it wouldn't mess up the other side. Cause if it spills over to the other side, you just, all you're worried about is this. So once it was done, then I would have glued it all together. But like I said, I forgot to cut that back piece. But I would have put, I, I would put um, probably a course, a colored glitter this color glitter or gold glitter or maybe silver it don't matter on the back I'm just touching it to see if it's set it's not like all the way set it's a little tacky but nonetheless what I would do after doing that show you. These are our necklace bells. And I have them in bronze, gold, and silver. So I'm going to grab a gold one. So what I would do is flip this over after I put the gold piece, the gold um, glitter piece, and I would my pot, not my pies, but um, glue it down here with E6000. Once it was glued down there, then you could take a thin chain. And run it through to make a little necklace a little charm necklace you know you fix it fit um, fit the findings and stuff on it or you could if you didn't want it to be a necklace then you just simply run a key ring through there And I'm sure I have one somewhere. That's kind of next to me right now. Just pretend for right now. You could take that off. Run a key ring. I'll use one of these big jump rings for now. Just pretend. Key ring, put a little charm on it, and boom. There you would have it. 
that is quick, easy. Oh, and like I was saying, when I finish, I would take and get some resin and put it along the sides and just come through with the brush and dab it in just to, just to lock it in. I can't do it all right now because I got to wait for that to dry or I mess it up. So, that's just a quick rundown. You can make a key ring, you can make a little trinket or you know a necklace just something quick all your images you get you can turn them into other things little girls would love that For boys, you can do cars, car shapes with, you know, the images they like or whatever. Whatever. Little girls and big girls, too. They would love stuff like this, but not with this image, but with the images you make. You could turn it into a pen. You could attach um, a pen uh, fixture or a finding on the back of it, and they can wear it on the shirt as a pen a magnet just whatever can't wait to see what you do